yo what is going on guys it's simple game here bringing you another video and in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to make a very own thumbnails like unique thumbnails for in photoshop so the first thing you want to go you have to go to file go to new and then for the width you can put 1920 or 1280 but i recommend putting 1280 and then for height you can put 1080 or 720 but i recommend putting 720 just because they're like 1080 with 720 are the same for thumbnails just that 1080 takes more memory so just copy all these settings down then press ok and then unlock this um, layer just by double left clicking and then um, it's going to show up this tab and then just press ok and then the next thing you want to do is you want to add like a background to it so you you can go to google and then choose your background as you see my videos when I'm doing my black ops 2 videos I choose the map that I'm playing on the video so let's say I'm playing um, on raid in the video so I just go to raid and then I put VO2 there you go and go to images I choose the background I want so let me choose this one right here Let right click it copy image go back to Photoshop make sure to create a new layer and then press control V resize it by, by pressing control T and then you can resize it let me just resize it. Uh, there you go. Then once you're done resizing, you just press enter. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go to um, double click it. Double click the background. It's going to show up with the blending options. And then go to Satan. And then here you can choose. Uh, Oh no, yeah, go to Satan and here you can choose any color you want. So for mine, I'll just choose this color. It depends on what you're doing your like gradient, like you gradient overlay on. So I'll just choose this one. And then I'll, the opacity can be, oh no, I'll make it a little bit darker, like about right there looks good. And then the distance, there you go. Then everything can stay the same. 72 opacity okay and then I'm gonna create a new layer and then here you want to grab um select the paintbrush where is it at here and then 600 size zero percent hardness this one right here so just um make like a cool gradient with it so I'll just make the one like this one like this just try to be as creative as possible and then you can change the opacity level so you can add like a little cool gradient effect to it so 77 is good and then the next thing you want to do is you want to add the gun you using in the video of course you don't have to do this but I'm doing it because in most of my thumbnails I put the gun that I'm using in the video in the thumbnail so let's say I'm using the MSMC or the no let me say I'm using the A94 in the video I'll put it in the thumbnail so A94 BO2 there you go go to images and then I look for a person of view or first person of view choose this one uh, right click it copy image go back to Photoshop V so you can paste it there you go grab the if it shows with the black background select the magic wand left click it then press delete right click it deselect there you go and then grab this tool right here and then drag it where you want it to be and if you want to resize it just press control T and then there you go you can resize it so about right there looks good and then I just press enter and then we can go um, go to blending options for the gun layer and then go to outer glow change the color to this color right here the opacity is 75 and just 75 there you go and then the size a little bit bigger So once you're done with your effect right there, with your outer glow, just go to um, color overlay, choose the black right there, and then make this opacity level like around 75 I think is good, oh no that's too dark, 73, that's too dark, so just put it to 70, 70 is good, so then just press ok so you can add like a little black defect so you can see even more. 
because as you see in my videos sometimes I add a black effect to it well not in my videos I mean thumbnails so then the next thing you want to do is you want to create a new layer and then in this layer you want to add your text to it so this choose your font and your font size and then you can put any text you want for um, this tutorial I just put the best and best there you go put it where you want it to be and then there you go then create a new layer and then here if you want to put like a bottom text like a uh, text under it so I'll just put a uh, game ever there you go and let's go back to this layer right here blending options go to drop shadow and then just copy these settings right here and then let's go to this um, layer right here or this text layer go to color overlay and I forgot to do this type it like type it with the same color as the background or as the gradient color let's go to drop shadow same thing okay and there you go guys that's how to make your very own thumbnails for YouTube since in the last um, tutorial I did for how to make thumbnails it wasn't very unique like for you people I just showed you how to make my thumbnails but now with this like new tutorial you can you can make your own thumbnails you can change the gun you can change the background you can do anything with it you can even change the color of it so yeah there you go guys please make sure to leave a like subscribe and comment I'll catch you guys next time peace